Hello children, how are you all doing? I believe you are doing well, just as I'm doing well. You are welcome to another English language lesson, grammar. And today we are going to be looking at countable nouns. Countable nouns. So before this lesson comes to a close, you are expected to be able to know what countable nouns are and also know their singular form as well as their plural forms. Very good. In our previous lesson, what did we learn? Mm -hmm. I know you remember. Very good. We talked about a type of noun, which is known as what? A collective noun. So what did we say about collective nouns? Mm -hmm. We said that collective nouns are words that are used to refer to nouns as a whole or as a group. For example, a bouquet of flowers. The bouquet is the word that is referring to a lot of flowers as a whole. We also gave an example like an army of soldiers, which means a lot of soldiers. Very good. Let's take a look at our key words for today. Our first key word for today is count. Count. What does count mean? It means determining the total number of something. To determine the total number of something. For example, I have some fingers on my hands here. Can you see them? How can I know the total number of my fingers? Very good, by counting. So let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. That is the meaning of counting. Determine the total number of something. Our second keyword is countable. Countable. Countable means able to be counted something that can be counted some things cannot be counted like water you cannot count water so anything that can be counted is countable like pencils human beings trees etc our next keyword is singular singular what does singular mean singular comes from the word single and single means one so singular in this context means denoting or referring to just one thing. Just one thing is known as what well, singular. Just as I'm standing here, I'm a single person who is standing here. Very good. The next keyword is plural. Plural. Plural means denoting or referring to more than one. So it's like plural is the opposite of single. So anything that is in its plural form is more than one. Very good. So let's come back to our main lesson for today. When we say countable nouns, from our keywords that we've discussed, we've talked about count, we've talked about countable, singular, and plural. What do you think is the meaning of countable nouns? So when we say a noun is countable, what do you think it means? Uh -huh. Very good. It means that it can be counted. Excellent. So countable nouns, when we say are the nouns whose total number can be determined by counting. So any noun whose total number can be determined by counting is referred to as what? As a countable noun. For example, I have some nouns here. What are these? Very good, they are pencils. So I can count these pencils to determine their number. Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. So it tells us that pencil is what? It's a countable now because its number can be determined by what? By counting. So let's look at some examples of countable nouns. We have pen, we have book, man, table, shirt, chair, bag, pencils, and the rest. Very good. So anytime we talk about countable nouns, we have its singular form and then we have its plural form. Singular we discuss in our keyword as something which is single or one. And then plural is something which is more than one, more than one or above one. So from two up to infinity are, they are in their what? Plural forms. Okay, so we can have a word like book and another word like mango 
which are all in their singular forms. So we can change these singular countable nouns into their plurals. Let's try and see. Very good. So we have the singular on my on the left, sorry, and then the plurals on right, on their right. Very good. Whenever we talk about plurals of countable nouns, we have some types or differences in them and there are two of them the first one is regular countable nouns and then the second one is irregular let's take them one after the other so we'll first of all look at the regular countable nouns when we say regular countable nouns what are they regular countable nouns form their plurals by adding s or es to them just as we see on the screen let's take it again regular countable nouns are nouns which form their plurals by adding s or es to them let's look at examples of them on the screen so we have book books pen pens mango mangoes hero heroes monkey and then monkeys these singular words on your left plurals were formed by adding s or es to them so whenever you see any now which form its plural by adding s or es to it it tells you that it is an example of what of a regular countable noun i hope it's clear very good let's take it again Regular countable nouns, we said they are countable nouns whose plurals are formed just by adding s or es to them. Good. Let's look at irregular countable nouns. Irregular countable nouns. Irregular countable nouns do not form their plurals by adding s or es to them, but rather they take a different form and others do not even change at all others have their singular to be the same for their plurals very good i hope it's clear let's take it again irregular countable nouns do not form their plurals by just adding s or es to them and then others also do not change at all let's take a look at some examples on the screen so on your screen are examples of some irregular countable nouns. Let's look at them. Remember I told you that they do not change when you are forming their plurals. They take, sorry, we do not, they change, they take different forms. We don't form their plurals by adding S or ES, but rather they change or take different forms. So we have man changing to become what? Man. And then we have knife changing to become knives we have child to children tooth to teeth person to people let's take it again man became what man knife became knives child become became children tooth became teeth and then person became people good do you remember i told you that that some of them whose plurals do not change at all which is they are the same for their singular and their plurals okay so we have examples of such two on the screen here the first one is sheep it's still the same sheep fish still the same as fish offspring is still the same as offspring salmon still the same as salmon and then species is also the same as what species children there are a lot of them, but I just gave you a few, so you can find more for yourselves and write them down in your jotters. All too soon, children, we have come to a close of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you learned a lot of things as well from the lesson today. Tell me some of the things you learned from the lesson. Mm -hmm. Very good. Today we've talked about countable nouns. And then we said that countable nouns are nouns whose total can be determined or whose number can be determined by counting. And then we said 
countable nouns have their singular forms and then they have their plural forms singular we said means one so any noun that can be counted that is single it means it is what singular only singular form and then we have the plural which is more than one so any countable noun you see that is more than one means it is in its plural form very good and then we said that changing countable nouns into their plurals we have two types of them we have the regular and then we have the irregular the regular we said are the, those whose plurals are formed by just adding s or es to them and then the irregular we said do not form their plurals by just adding s or es but rather they take a different form and some of them do not even change at all they are the same for their singular and same for their plural very good i have an assignment for you that i want you to write down and solve them in your jotters so look on your screen write the plurals for the following singular countable nouns the first one is knife and the second one is what mouse laptop woman and phone i'll come your way again children bye bye